If you use free commerce DC bots, you're most likely aware that not all of your funds are used all of the time. Especially when you're running on a high deviation like I am, you will not utilize all of your funds and you will miss out on profit. You can see that this bot requires a total of around $995, but only if all seven safety orders are filled. However, the last safety order is at a 60% deviation. It will take some time to get there and most trades will never get there. On average on the trade with this bot, four safety orders get filled. And so the money from the fifth, sixth and seventh safety order is rarely used. There's an easy way we can use the available funds to generate more risk-free profit, especially if you're running on a lower volatility crypto like Bitcoin or Ethereum. This is a great way to increase your overall profit without risking more. So whatever exchange you're using, there's probably some way to move cryptos into a savings account and accrue daily interest. I'm on Binance, for example, and all my bots are also running on the Binance spot market, but they can also be running in the futures market. All the funds the bot will use are located in my spot wallet. The funds that are rarely used, I always transfer to a flexible savings account. This way I generate daily passive income. Since it's a flexible savings account, I can always redeem the safe cryptos instantly transfer them to the spot wallet if they are ever needed. This is especially useful if you are trading against a stable coin you can also put into a savings account because then you also eliminate the risk of any fluctuations, for example if you would save another crypto. Let me show you a real example. Trades that were made with this bot on average fill about 4 safety orders. We could use the funds from the 5th, 6th and 7th safety order and put them into a flexible savings account. So let's calculate how much we could save with these safety orders. We can just add up all the order amounts that are used for the safety orders. So we take 154 plus 215 plus 301 and we get $670 that we could transfer into a savings account. The bot is running BUSD, so let's see if there is a flexible savings option for BUSD. As you can see, Binance offers a 10% APR if you save BUSD. Some exchanges like Binance have some kind of tier, so you won't be making 10% for all of your BUSD. But as shown here, for the first 2000 BUSD, we would receive 10%. For the next 18,000, we would receive 4%. And for any BUSD more than that, we would receive 0.5%. If you have more than 2,000 BUSD that you want to save, the simple trick would be to convert them into Tether and save them there. Since Tether has the same tier rate, you could get 10% for the first $4,000 in total. Remember, since this is a flexible savings account, we can always instantly redeem the cryptos whenever we need them. The only drawdown in doing this is that we won't get the accrued interest of the current day. The only question that's left over is, how do we know when I will need the funds? So whenever there are too little funds in your wallet for the bot to execute a safety order, there will be an error saying you have insufficient funds. Obviously you don't want to check your free commerce account every day to see if there was an error. For that, I recommend using the notification settings on free commerce. The way I have set them up is that I will only receive notifications whenever there was an error on one of my bots. As soon as I receive this error, I know that I, ch that I just have to transfer some funds and the error will be resolved. So now we have set up a basic system to utilize 100% of our funds to generate more profit. If you want to do this, make sure you're using a flexible account as otherwise your funds might be locked up and you won't be able to access them when you need them. I strongly recommend using Binance for this strategy as they have the best and most offers available. You can sign up and get a 10% trading fee discount using the link in the description. We also recently just opened a Discord, so make sure you join us using the link in the description.
See you on the Discord.